Well, I'm almost ready to put the back on. I didn't film um, how I tied them together, so I just I got two sitting here. I just like I say again, I'm following people on YouTube, so I'm not gonna know if this thing's gonna work until I test it. I've been testing the cells. I'm getting some readings off of it, but until I get it out in the sunlight and and test it, I don't know. So. I wouldn't follow my instructions until, <laughs> until I see if it works. But well, anyway, I tab all the fronts like that, and you flip them over, and you got these dots on the back. It's the same deal as the front. Put the flux pen on there, on each dab. I see some guys soldering it, and some guys not soldering it, so I don't know. So I didn't, I didn't solder the backs. So... What I done was these cells are actually the way they work is the front of the cell is negative and the back of the cell is positive. So when you f you flip them over like this, you are actually going from The front is negative. The front is negative to the back is positive. So as it goes down the line, it goes negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way around. Like on this one, I'll show you how. And hopefully I got it right. <laughs> so you start out over here is this is the front. You can see these two tabbing wires are coming from the front, which is negative. So then you go negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, all the way down. And then you're jumping over with the bus bar from this row to this row. And then the same thing, negative, positive, all the way down. And when you get to this, the same thing, you jump over, negative, positive, all the way down. Same thing here. And then you end up with this side, which is, this is the back, this is the positive. So I got one wire on negative at this small piece of bus bar and I have the positive on this end on this piece of bus bar now I'm hoping I got this thing right I'm pretty sure I, I watched a lot of guys doing them so I'll just have to test it out I really don't have a light strong enough I mean I've seen some guys testing them with like a 500 watt Maybe if I got a 250 or something, I can test it just to see if I'm getting some readings going all the way down and test them all before I close in. Because once I close in, I ain't going to be able to get to them. So I'm going to have to try and test that out before I do that. So, and that's it. I mean, once you tie them all together, and then you just you put your flux pin on the dots, and then you solder these down. And then you set another one on top. It's the same thing, and you go all the way down. I did, these rows are um, nine in a row, four rows is 36. I'm not sure, I watched some guy who had the same similar panel, I think he said he was somewhere around 60 watts, something like that. Like I say, I'm just starting out with this stuff, so don't, don't follow what I'm doing. <laughs> If I test it out and I got it out in the sun and it's it's producing some power, then you can follow what I'm doing. But for now, I don't know, I watch some of these other guys that are a little more uh, um, experienced with it. I'm following them. So, all right, we'll see when I close in what it looks like. Oh, and I put some brackets on the frame so I can mount it to uh, whatever I'm going to mount it to. I put four. You know what I'm thinking for at the back, how I'm going to seal it in. And again, I've been watching a lot of videos, and some guys say putting wood backing is no good, it gets too hot, you don't get enough power, you ain't going to be producing anything in the middle of the day. And other guys are putting uh, this resin, and actually, they just pour it in here and they 
take a brush and they brush it all around and it actually goes underneath the cell and on top of the cell and it closes the whole thing in and it's clear. I guess it runs cooler like that. But that stuff's like 60 bucks for the, uh, I think it's a quart. So, and then I see other guys, I see some other guys, they built 10 of them already with wooden frames and wooden backs and, and they never say anything that it's not producing any power, so. I'm not gonna know until I do it myself and then I see what happens, so. And then nobody's telling me, especially the guys making them out of wood, that what they're doing during the day, nobody's saying anything, so. I'm gonna have to do my own trial and error. So this one I'm probably going to put a wooden back. What I'm going to think I'm going to do is I have some uh, um, white fiberglass. It's like an eighth of an inch that I used building my cap on my truck. It seems to be UV because it's my cap's been on there for about three years now, and I don't see any damage on that that uh, fiberglass sheet. So I think what I'm going to do is probably put I'm going to get a sheet of that and I'm going to laminate that onto a sheet of maybe Luan and I'll have to uh, preserve the Luan and I think I'm going to put that down on here. I'm probably going to put some silicone on the back of these cells. I've seen some guys that's how they were doing it. I'm going to put that down on there, put some weights then I'm going to leave a little bit of a space going all the way around and then I'm going to fill that in with silicone all the way around like that that's how I think I'm gonna do it and then we'll just have to see what happens all right well I gotta get some couple measurements and do some cutting and see how it works out take it easy